Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with the Confessions of a Paper Addict Design Team Layout. And today I am playing with the free cut file from November. And as you see at the beginning of the video, I did go ahead and take some stencil material and I cut out that cut file. And so what I am doing is for my layout today, I am actually going to use the negative pieces or the hearts that get cut out from that heart cut file and I am using just the hearts that are created to now create my own background. So this is just another way that you can change up how you use Virginia's beautiful cut files. And this one in particular is great because now I have all of these hearts that are all cut out and I went ahead and just created my own custom background paper with those hearts by just lightly tacking them down here on my white cardstock and taking some Distress Oxide ink in Tattered Rose and Worn Lipstick. And I am just going to blend those two colors onto my background here and create my very own custom made pattern paper for my layout. So I really love how versatile using these cut files are allows you to do so many things you don't have to use them just as a cut file on your page you can use them as a stencil you can take parts of them and use them on your page you can cut them apart you can do what i'm doing here and using the negative pieces to create a background so many ideas and i know this cut file in our design team was very popular this month quite a few of us used it and so there's lots of inspiration so if you are watching this video and it is still november be sure to go out to the facebook group and grab this free cut file and i will have in the description box below the link to the store as well as the facebook group so you can go and check out all of virginia's beautiful cut files now i will also remind you that if you are watching this video, it is November 26th for me, so just after Thanksgiving for all of my US peeps. And if you're watching this video and you saw at the beginning, I have a little post about the sale that's happening over at Confessions of a Paper Addict. Be sure to go over to the store because right now for Thanksgiving week, or weekend, uh, there is 50% off the cup files. So be sure to go over and grab all of your favorite cup files. It's a great sale and a great price for Virginia's beautiful cup files. I absolutely adore them. And this one is obviously the free one, but there's tons of other ones that she has out there for Christmas. There's gonna be a whole bunch released in the coming month for Christmas, but all of the past Christmas and all of the other beautiful cut files that you can use, use year round. So don't forget to check those out. Now, while I was sort of going on about the sale, I am just gonna start my layout here by backing my two photos, which are of my daughter. And all of the colors for this layout came from the photos themselves. My daughter's room was green and her chair that she's sitting in is pink and white. And so that were that's where I pulled all of the colors for this particular layout. So I just found in my stash some papers that had those greens and yellow tone or green and pink tones. And so that is what I pulled out to use. So now that I have my photos sort of laid out, I'm kind of keeping toward a central design for my photos. And I went through my stash and grabbed just a whole bunch of pieces, a whole bunch of florals and just some labels and some other ephemera pieces that I could make some clusters with that all had the greens and pinks. And so I'm just going to build three little embellishment clusters. So giving me that visual triangle and keeping them all kind of around my photos, you're going to see here, I'm going to lay all of these out and then I am going to go off camera and glue all of this down. So you don't have to watch that part. I'm also using some of these foam stickers, which I have had in my stash for ever and I finally got them used up on this layout and those just add a little bit of extra dimension to my clusters and kind of give a little different texture. So there you see now my photos are down, my pattern papers are all in place and my embellishment clusters and now it is time to work on my title 
And my title for this one is going to be Love You to Pieces. And so that is what I'm working on here is my title. And I have these pink thickers, which I do end up not having all of the letters perfectly. So I do have to create, I think the L I created, uh, which you can't even tell on video that they are, it's not an actual L, but that I had to create. And I think the E might've been one I had to create as well. But either way, these were kind of thickers that you can kind of make extra letters if you run out. So there, my title is now in place and I'm using a couple of different fonts. And then I have these little tile stickers to create my font, my title. And I am just going to finish up my layout with a few of these faux brads. Uh, I took some green and pink ones and I'm just scattering those in amongst my clusters. And then each of my clusters is also going to get a three or a few enamel dots. I don't know if I do an actual visual triangle with the enamel dots. I kind of just added one, I think, to the centers of the florals. And I also decided to pull out these little asterisk pieces, which were left on this other thicker set. And I'm going to add those in my embellishment clusters again to bring that silver color in amongst the rest of the layout since it was just down at the bottom with my title. Once I have that done, that is going to do it for this layout today. Here are the still photos. And like I said, be sure to check the links down below for uh, all the places to go grab these great cut files. And with that, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.